Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm actually in a different setup. I am with my boyfriend in Belgium, so I'm in his room, so I kind of had to improvise. But I felt a need to sit down and give my opinion about Black Friday as a minimalist, just because I think that within the community of minimalists that I know, there's a lot of differing opinions. And I think the main um, two opinions are, I don't shop at all during Black Friday, Black Friday is a day from the devil, or I actually use this opportunity to make purchases that I actually genuinely did to make. So I sort of wanted to talk about that, but I wanted to start off by talking about the psychological effect behind the marketing of Black Friday. I think that's really important to discuss because especially during my business communication master's course, we talked a lot about sort of publicity and negotiation skills and the psychology behind um, the marketing of a day like Black Friday. And essentially, this day revolves around the feeling of exclusivity and urgency. What Black Friday does essentially, besides giving you really good deals, because it is undeniably true that you can get really good steals on Black Friday, is that it makes you feel like you have this one day, and that if you don't shop on that day, then you're missing out and you're never going to get these deals again. And the reality is that if you look at different sales periods throughout the year, so let's say like end of the year sales or end of summer sales, the discounts that you'll find on certain products aren't that crazy different from the discounts you find on days like Black Friday. It's just that Black Friday has been built up to feel like an urgent sort of you have to do it on that day or you'll never get that opportunity again. And I think it's really important to have that in the back of your mind when you're formulating your opinion on Black Friday because it genuinely makes a huge difference when you're thinking about what to get and what not to get. Personally, as a minimalist, I've tried to adopt both approaches. I've tried to completely steer clear of Black Friday, not even open any of my online web stores on that day. I wouldn't usually go um, physically shopping just because Physical shopping makes me anxious. If I can avoid going into an actual store, then I will because I'll just be overwhelmed with other things just trying to call my attention. Um, so I prefer to be able to go on a website and type in the exact product that I'm looking for. So when I do shop on Black Friday, I do so online. Last year, I sort of took the approach of completely staying off all of my websites. I ignored the emails, I ignored the Instagram advertisements and the urgent like, just today, you have six hours left sort of in my face. I mean, just talking about it is giving me anxiety right now. This year, I am taking a different approach and this year I am actually shopping on Black Friday. Again, I'm not going out to a physical store because it still gives me anxiety, but what I have done throughout the past, I'd say like four or five months, is sort of write down a list of big buys that I genuinely feel like I need. I've been waiting for them um, for Black Friday, but also Cyber Monday. And especially because my YouTube channel thanks to you guys thank you so much i appreciate you guys so much just got monetized and so i don't know if you guys know this but i filmed my channel so far entirely on an iphone 10r um i'm filming this video on an iphone 10r right now and um, maybe you can tell because of the quality but i feel like now that my channel has been monetized i sort of want to invest in a camera i've known for a while the camera that i want and i've kept my eye out for um, this camera and it's just 200 euros, that's like $230 cheaper to buy it this week. And the reality is that I probably can wait for a different sale point, but I've just been needing this camera and I feel like I have waited long enough. I actually made a video about how to keep yourself from impulse shopping. So if you guys wanna check that out, I'll leave the link down below. But essentially I followed my own rule where I write things down and I wait. For me, a big purchase is anything over hundred euros. So essentially what I wanted to do is give you guys tips and advice on how to go about shopping on Black Friday. And tip number one, I think the most important is to stay away from physical sh shops for various reasons. One, because honestly it's so crowded and the more you see people reaching for products and you see it reaching the last product on the shelf, you're gonna feel that, oh my God, if I don't get that, it's the last one, I really should get it. Um, whereas it's not true because that same exact branch store exists maybe one town away from you and it still has a product. I feel like buying online also means that you can search for exactly what you're looking for and you're less likely to get distracted by everything else. Whereas when you're in a physical store, you really have to go through the aisles and sort of are forced to look at everything, if that makes sense. I feel like tip number two is really stick to your list. Only buy what you came out to buy, no matter how good the other deal is, unless you 
absolutely really need it. Um, but we all know that we can convince ourselves that we absolutely really need it. So, And number three sort of ties into that where don't just go aimlessly shopping because you will come back with stuff that you don't need and you will end up very disappointed at yourself. But honestly, I feel like the reason my opinion is so controversial is because a lot of minimalists do tend to have the extremist point of view of um, not shopping on Black Friday at all. And I feel like it can be a, just a very intelligent decision to buy something that you actually genuinely need at a lesser price, be this a vacuum cleaner or an oven or something like a necessity like that. It's just always smarter to just buy it on Black Friday or Cyber Monday. My other opinion about this is that I also use Black Friday to shop for Christmas. Again, controversial because a lot of you minimalists try to not uh, buy gifts for family or not do it as much, but I have a lot of children in my family, especially cousins, and I just feel like the magic of Christmas for them sort of revolves around getting the toys that they want. Um, and while I do try to keep it to a minimum and I definitely respect their parents' requests, um, I do tend to spoil them um, with like one bigger toy instead of a bunch of little ones. So I will be buying some things for my cousins this Black Friday as well for Christmas. Um, I made a minimalist gift guide for the Christmas season. If you guys haven't seen that yet, um, I'll also put it in the card right up there, or maybe it's up here. But yeah, that's sort of my take on it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think about Black Friday, because I kind of want to know where everyone is at. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I appreciate you guys so much. Don't forget to leave me a big thumbs up and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!